Isn't it time for some great news, real estate investors? Well, I'm about to give you some. My name is Brandon Turner, host of the Bigger Pockets podcast, author of the book on rental property investing, and I wanted to share with you right now a little bit about what was just announced today from the federal government here in the United States. As you might have heard, early in the morning, like 1.30 a.m., Democrats and Republicans reached an agreement on how they are going to try to fix the economy during this coronavirus-led meltdown. Their answer, a $2 trillion stimulus designed to help get America some relief. Yikes. Now, keep in mind, this has not been voted on yet and some details could change, but I wanted to make this video as soon as possible to let you know what's going on. And as changes happen, I'll make even more content. So be sure to follow us here at Bigger Pockets. All right. So this $2 trillion injection offers real estate investors some much needed relief. How? Well, if you're like me and the biggest concern right now is probably what if my tenants don't pay rent? Well, I made a video a couple of days ago addressing my five-step plan for dealing with that. You can check that out by clicking the link below the video. Uh, and I also made another video about sending a letter to my tenants, letting them know the rent still needs to be paid so we can pay our bills. And the links to both those are below. But here's the good news. The government is intent on getting our tenants money so they can continue paying their bills so we can keep making our payments. So everybody wins. Well, everyone except the national debt, but that's another video. So let me break down some of the details as we have them now from what the stimulus package should or might include. First, the federal government would be giving jobless workers an extra $600 a week on top of state benefits for four months. So if your tenant loses their job, they go on unemployment, they may be able to earn their entire full salary that they were earning while they were working. Now that gets us to midsummer because it's four months worth. Second, this is super interesting. The financial assistance plan also extends to independent contractors, gig economy workers like Uber, uh, and those who are self-employed. They typically don't get assistance. So let's say you rent to a tenant who earns their dri money driving for Uber or owns a beauty salon, or maybe they're a real estate agent. They're also likely to be given help here, which allows them to continue paying their bills. Third, the stimulus plan in its current form plans to send payments of over $1,000 to workers who earn less than $75,000 a year, plus like $500 a kid. So if you've got a family of two adults, two kids that are scared and they're still working, but they're ner nervous, they could be getting over three grand shortly. Finally, the stimulus includes a lot of money set aside for businesses, like $350 billion earmarked for small businesses specifically. Now, this is designed to help small businesses who have payroll keep their employees working. Now, some of this money will likely be low or no interest loans, while other money could be grants. You know, according to the New York Times today, small businesses that pledge to keep their workers would also receive cash flow assistance structured as federally guaranteed loans. If the employer continues to pay workers for the duration of the crisis, those loans would be forgiven. So if you're a business owner and most real estate investors are, this may help you as well. Now we'll be sure to keep, in, keep a close eye on the details as they emerge as to what these loans or grants are and how they can benefit you. And remember, this has not been voted on yet. Details could change. And when they do, we will be there to let you know how it might affect you, the real estate investor. All right, so does that mean the crisis is over? Far from it. However, this encourages me a lot as a real estate investor and as an American. Last week, I didn't know how any of my tenants were gonna pay paying rent. And honestly, next week, they still might not. A lot of tenants might not, or they just won't. But that's why I have my five-point plan that I addressed in that other video. Now, overall, here's why I'm optimistic. America is coming together to get through this. Yeah, there's gonna be long-term ramifications to this trial, but it is a trial and we will walk through it together. This is what America does. It rises to the occasion, whether fighting back fascism in World War II, terrorism in the past few decades, or the silent pandem pandemic today. America will come together in times of need. That's what we're seeing across the country right now. Neighbors helping neighbors, landlords helping tenants, families coming together. The darkest days of this pandemic may still lie ahead and neither I nor you can predict the future, but here's why I'm so optimistic. I know that whatever comes, we're gonna face it together. For biggerpockets.com, my name is Brandon Turner, signing off.